All right, guys, so this is our warm up. Uh, so, uh, the first thing that we're going to do here is a single leg RDL or a single leg stiff leg deadlift. Uh, so, basically, all we're going to try and do here is have a slight bend in the knee that's staying on the ground. You're going to try and keep your back as straight as you can, push your hips back as you're coming down here until you feel a bit of a stretch through your hamstring. Once you feel that stretch, you're going to try and squeeze your bum and push the hip forward to bring you back up to the top. So we're going to do about 10 to 12 of these just until it starts to feel like it's moving. Uh, and then we're going to move into our door frame trunk rotation. So I'm going to get these guys to move over to a squat rack. Uh, this exercise you can do uh, on any door frame in your house. And all you're going to do, try and squeeze your bum. And, all, and you're going to press into the side of the door frame, trying to rotate your torso around. So you're gonna feel sort of the muscles along the side of your trunk activating here while you're doing this. You're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch and do the other side. Great, 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 great. All right, and then we're gonna transition from here into what's called our bear to pike. So essentially all this is, you're on all fours, your knees are off the mat or off the ground. They're directly underneath your hips. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. And then you're gonna push your hips up into the air, straightening your legs out till you feel a bit of a stretch on the back of the thigh. And you're gonna try and basically push your head through the hole, make enough space so that your dog can come and sit under you. Great, wow, that's adorable. <laughs> and once you've done about 10 to 12 of these, uh, we're going to transition to the, the start of that warm up again. So you're going to go through these two to three times. Uh, <laughs> uh, perfect. Okay, so the next piece that we're going to get into here, uh, this is the strength component of our workout. So we're going to do about four to five sets of these, eight to ten reps of each exercise. The key thing here is on the way down on these movements, you're going to try and lower yourself for three seconds, and on the way up, you're going to try and push up for three seconds. So the first one that we're going to do here is a push-up. We're going to get Montana to demonstrate what this would look like on the floor if you're going to try it that way. So it's down three, two, one, up three, two, one. Good effort, just a little slower. Two, one, three, two, one. The more honest you are with these push-ups and the timing of it, the more challenging this is going to be. Our objective here is we want to try and make this challenging because we don't have access to a lot of other ways to make this hard. So Ari's going to do a, a little demonstration of what an incline version of this would look like. We're going to use our preacher bench here, but what I want you to think of is this could be a countertop at your home. It could be a dining room table. Uh, it could be, you know, the side of the bed, the bed frame, whatever works. Couch would be perfect, maybe the back of the couch if, uh, if you need to make it easier. So same deal, down three, two, one, up, three, two, one, and try and feel the muscles that you're using working while you're doing this, right? So you should feel a little bit of stuff going on in your chest, maybe in your shoulder, maybe in the back of your arm, which would be your tricep. So eight to 10 reps of that, and you're alternating this with uh, what's called a split squat. So a split squat, Basically, you're gonna have one foot forward, one foot back. Your weight is predominantly on your front foot. You're coming down for three seconds, trying to keep your heel down at the front, and then back up for three seconds. Try and press through your heel as much as you can, and really try and focus on squeezing the bottom of your butt cheek as you're standing up here. The more that you can use the right muscles here, the more benefit you're gonna get out of this. This is also gonna help you to sort of stay out of pain uh, and ideally, uh, actually get a pretty good result here while you're away from the gym. So Ari's going to show us a, a sort of slightly modified version. This is going to be a little easier. Uh, and all he's doing here is he's taking a little bit of the stability out of the exercise. So by supporting his upper body, he's giving himself a little bit of assistance. Uh, and that should allow you, if you're having difficulty doing it just freestanding, to actually be able to do this well, okay? So same deal, down three, thanks Lou, and then up three, good, <laughs> great. So we're gonna do four to five sets of that, and then we're gonna transition into the sweaty portion of the workout. So what we need you to do is get a timer that will count up, and basically every minute, you're gonna do one of these three exercises. So the first exercise is 40 seconds of jumping jacks, then you're gonna get 20 seconds to rest, 
Then we're gonna hold a plank for 40 seconds, 20 seconds to rest. Then you're gonna do as many glute bridges or hip bridges as you can in 40 seconds, 20 seconds to rest. And we're gonna repeat that four or five times. So Montana and Ari are gonna show you some jumping jacks. All right, 40 seconds of these. Good, Lou's gonna do some jumping jacks too. God, I love that guy. Fuck, he's so athletic. Good. So this is a real-time simulation of what it's probably gonna be like working out with a dog at home. Uh, so the next one we're gonna do is transition into a plank. So a plank can be on your elbows. If you wanna make it a bit easier, you can do it on your hands on an elevated surface again. Ari, do you wanna maybe show what this would look like? Just go off the lat pull down there. So on this, you're gonna flex your abs as hard as you can. You're gonna squeeze your butt cheek like you're trying to crush an acorn in between there. <laughs> Good, and then you're just flexing as hard as you can. The harder you squeeze your abs, the more you're gonna get out of this. So the last one that we're gonna transition to is gonna be a hip bridge. There's a couple of versions of this. So the first one is just lying down on the floor. You're gonna tuck your chin, arms are straight out by your sides. You're gonna squeeze your bum and then press the hips up to the ceiling. And again, we want to try and think of it as like the bottom of your butt cheek and squeezing that piece and driving the hips up to the ceiling. And what that's going to do is encourage you to tip your hips underneath you and get a better glute contraction. Montana, can you put your shoulders on the bench here and just do a bit of an alternate version? So this will be a little easier, especially if mobility is a challenge. And you're just going to tuck your chin. Your hands can be either on the uh, bench at your sides or on the side of your couch, on the edge of your bed. And then same principles apply, abs are turned on, you're gonna squeeze your bum, drive the hips up. <laughs> All right, guys.